Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 card review. Hit a review a card that is a TCG exclusive and Secret to Eternity. Secrets to Eternity released January 16th. What we're looking at here is Good and Evil in the Burning Abyss. It's a ritual spell card description. Well, it's a ritual spell card for Melakota, Netherlord of the Burning Abyss. Description. This card is used to ritual summon Melakota, Netherlord of the Burning Abyss. You must also tribute monsters from your hand or field whose le total levels equal six or more during your main phase, except the turn this card is sent to the graveyard. You can banish this card from your graveyard and send one Burning Abyss monster from your hand to the graveyard. Add one Burning Abyss card from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of uh, good and evil of the abyss once per turn. I mean it's a good catalyst. That's one thing I can say about it. It's a good catalyst to to get the burning abyss monsters effect activated. You know, um once they get sent to the graveyard during the end phase, I mean there you go. It says six or more, all the burning abyss monsters are with the exception of uh Malakota and of course those the non monsters. Um or the non-extra deck monsters, I should say. All of them are level 3. So, not that difficult to add up 6 from that. Um, uh, from the archetype. Uh, as far as its effect goes, I mean, I just said it. You know, it's pretty simple. It's not difficult to use at all. Um... It will send one Burning Abyss monster from your hand to the graveyard. Add one Burning Abyss from your deck to your hand. You know, get to add an effect. I mean, pretty much you just want to make sure that... Alright, let me give the rundown. Okay, in an ideal situation, you want to... I can't remember their names, but I'm pretty sure somebody in the description is going to tell me. That's off top. Like, I can't remember their names, so forgive me. But you would want to send from your hand to the graveyard a burning ab abyss monster that can special summon from the I think it was the deck or the hand that way during the end phase you can still have something on the field um, or have something else on the field as well as adding you know you'll be setting that up as well as adding another burning abyss monster for, or a card another burning abyss card excuse me from your deck to your hand that you feel like you may need. Um, I guess the only downfall is that you have to wait, you know, but that's no biggie, you know. So, of course, it can be searched out with uh, uh, Manju of the what 10,000 hands. Um, Sonic Bird, if anybody gives a fuck to use Sonic Bird in a Burning Abyss build, I don't know who would, but, you know, it can search it out. That's it. I'm not making any more stupid suggestions. Even Just because the card can search it out doesn't mean that it's a good, you know, suggestion to use in a build. You know, so, you know, the Burning Abyss has their own motif, and they don't even work well with other monsters that are not Burning Abyss, so why even mention them, you know? So that's going to be it for me doing that. Uh, you can search it out with another good and evil in the Burning Abyss. You know, so that would be it. Um, yeah, man, it, it's nothing more to say. Again, people get mad at me for not elaborating on the obvious when it's no need to. You know, I call these a card reviews because in other videos I can actually review the card. Other times like this... You know, it's pretty too, it's too self-explanatory for me to even go into any further detail. So, of course, it's not going to be long and elaborate because there's no need for it. So, link to this card is going to be in the description. You guys can check it out, and I'll see you for the next card review. Peace.